Um, what we have is we have y equals tangent of x plus pi. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to graph this. And this is going to have a phase shift of pi. We're going to go and see how this is going to affect the graph. So the first thing, whenever we're graphing a trigonometric graph, is we need to find the important points. So first thing we want to find is our period. Now remember, period for tangent is going to be pi divided by b, which in this case our b, remember, is the coefficient of x, which is going to be 1. So my period is still going to remain pi. Now the next thing is I personally like to find my x scale for only my critical points. So to find my x scale, I'm just going to take the x scale, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my period divided by 2. Therefore, my x scale is going to equal pi halves. Now the next thing is since we know we have a phase shift, I want to look at what is the initial period of the graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about the initial period of my tangent graph, and I want to kind of see where does that start and end. Well, the initial period of the tangent graph starts at negative pi halves and ends at pi halves. So for any transformation in the graph is going to affect the start and the end. So I see I have x plus pi. That's going to affect my start and end of my tangent graph. So how it's going to affect it, we need to take what's set inside my function, be x plus pi equals a negative pi halves. And then my end is now going to be x plus pi equals negative pi halves. So now, what I can do is I can simply just solve for x. So I subtract pi, and I get my new start is now going to be a negative 3 pi over 2. And I subtract pi over here. That's supposed to be positive pi halves. Thank you. Therefore, that's going to be x equals a negative pi over 2. So now to graph this function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my x-axis, and I'm going to have my starting point be at negative 3 pi over 2, and my end point will be at negative pi halves. However, I do notice that um, I do notice that my x scale is going to be pi halves. So I got to look at this and say, all right, well, if negative 3 pi halves plus pi halves, well, that's going to leave me with negative pi. And then if I subtract pi halves again, or add pi halves again, that's going to take me to negative pi halves. If I add my next critical point, which is now going to take me to 0, and then if I add pi halves again, I'll have pi halves. Now this can also work in the negative direction. So by subtracting pi halves, I can now have negative 2 pi. And then if I subtract pi halves again, I'm now going to have um, negative 5 pi halves. OK, so now let's go and look again at our start and our end. So our starting point is going to be an asymptote of our graph, as well as the ending point. The middle term, our middle critical point, is going to be our x-intercept. Then I can just continue that on. So it's going to go asymptote to x-intercept to the next asymptote. Asymptote, x-intercept to the asymptote. All right, so therefore I pretty much graph my transformation of my graph. Now all I simply need to do is remember, what, is the trigon what does the parent graph of the tangent look like? Well, the graph of the tangent falls down to the left and then rises to the right. So what I'm going to do through this point is graph one of those graphs. Now that's going to be your parent graph. Now what you can just continue doing is continue that. And I'll do it for three periods here as my graph is going to approach um, my asymptote from the left and from the right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve the tangent function. Thanks.